few weeks ago, a real French writer and illustrator came here to Cappuccino to talk to the IB French students about his books and works in progress. He used a lot of influences that he saw when he traveled when he wrote his books, and it wasn't just um, made up stories for kids. It was something that he went out and saw it, and then he wrote about it so that children could see the experience of everything throughout the world. He actually uses some uh, pretty interesting uh, techniques to color in his work. Um, it was pretty interesting. Uh, he uses coffee and tea to like color in some like parts of the sky. I want to say it's a little bit more abstract. Um, nothing's kind of what it seems. Um, but it's not completely abstract to a point where you can't understand it. Um, we read a couple of his books, some of the children's books that he wrote. Um, one of them was this one right here. Um, it's called L'Histoire du Chat qui Boud. I liked his The Chat qui Boud, which was about the pouting cat and how lying plays a huge effect in everyone's life and other people's lives also. So I think that book was really awesome and the art was really cool too. And his book, Le Fille de l'Air. Um, he talked about a harness that she used to learn how to do acrobatics and I could relate to that because I do gymnastics and so it was something where I could actually comprehend and I'm like hey this guy's talking French to me and I actually understand it. I also really like the picture that he drew of Mr. Olsen and all the characters like of his book around him and he made it like look all cartoonish and that was really funny. I was pleasantly surprised by how well my students were able to kind of follow along. They didn't get everything, um, but were able to follow some of his jokes. It's another opportunity to um, use your own like um, listening and comprehension skills and um, to really you realize how much you really know about or how much you really understand of the language and or in some cases I guess how much you don't. They actually are from the country, so you actually get the influence from what the language is like and they don't slow down when you don't understand so it really helps with your skills. Well looks like everyone had a good time including Monsieur Melin. His visit was made possible through a Morgan Family Foundation grant and we hope to have more experiences like this in the future.